peace upon you, many of us today use computers, and who invented that computer did not think, and in this video we will talk about the inventor of the computer. But before we start, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel until all new arrives. About the inventor of the computer. Charles Babbage is considered the father of the computer and is credited with inventing the first ever computer, whose design was the cornerstone of other, more complex computers. Charles Babbage was born on December 26, 1791, in England, known as a man of science whose experience extends to a large number of fields and became a mathematician, mechanical engineer, inventor and philosopher who contributed to many different scientific fields, but his most famous achievement is the design of a programmable computing device. In 1991, the computer was built according to the original Charles Babbage drawings housed in the Science Museum in London, it consisted of 8,000 pieces, weighing 5 tons in total and 11 feet in length. The engine was built under conditions available in the 19th century. 2. The Beginnings of Charles Babbage there was some disagreement over the birthplace of Charles Babbage but according to the biographies of national figures in the Oxford Dictionary, he was born on Woolworth Street in London, England. A blue plaque has been placed along the intersection of Larkham Road and Woolworth Street to commemorate the birth of this wonderful man. Charles was one of four children born to his parents Betsy Plumy Tippy and Benjamin Babbage. His father was a banker and was a partner of William Pride who together founded Pride and Company on Fleet Street in London in 1801. When Charles was eight years old, he was sent to the countryside in Elvington near Exeter to teach him and to help him recover from a fever that was about to end his life, and later he also enrolled at King Edward VI Grammar School in Tottenham, South Devon, but due to his poor health he returned home he is taught by private tutors. Later he attended Homewood Small Academy in Enfield, Middlesex and in the academy library he learned and loved the sciences of mathematics, at the age of 16 or 17, Babbage returned to Tattons to study and had a tutor from Oxford, under this tutor, he learned the basic classics necessary to be done acceptance at the University of Cambridge. Babbage began his studies at Trinity College in Cambridge in October 1810 and moved to House College, Cambridge in 1812 where it was the best place to study mathematics he graduated two years later, in 1814. 3. The Accomplishments of Charles Babbage He collaborated with notable names such as John Herschel and George Peacock to form the Analytical Society, he was also a member of other clubs, including the Ghost Club that researched the supernatural, and the Extractors Club. Babbage became a lecturer at the Royal Institution where he lectured on astronomy, and in 1816, he was elected a fellow of the Royal Society. In 1820, Babbage helped develop the Astronomical Society, in 1824 he won the gold medal, for inventing an engine for calculating mathematical and astronomical tables. From 1828 to 1839 Babbage held the position of Professor of Mathematics at the University of Cambridge. Mathematical tables were of great importance in the era of Babbage, as he used to rely on them in navigation, science and engineering. Babbage tried to make these calculations manually and then group them into tables, but it was a very difficult task, as errors occurred either in the calculation or in the compilation of tables. Because of these difficulties he faced and the great time and effort needed to organize these tables, Babbage decided to design a mechanical device that could perform calculations, so that this machine would be accurate and save time and money. Babbage began building the first model of a small calculation engine in 1819 and was completed in 1822, Difference Engine Zero. The machine calculated and printed the mathematical tables and was operated by moving the handle. This machine was called the Difference Engine because of the mathematical theory that was done. Adopted in the construction of the machine. The British government was interested in his machine, and Babbage got £17,000 to start working on a large-scale machine, Difference Engine 1, which was designed to compute and categorize multiple functions. Over the following years, more than £17,000 was spent on the project, 
but unfortunately the parts were required expensive. In 1832 a small portion of the work was built, however work on this full-scale differential engine was discontinued in 1833. The difference engine was built having more than 25,000 work pieces, weighing more than 13 tons per linear meter and measuring 8 feet in length. In 1837, Babbage became interested in building a more powerful analytic engine than the original difference engine and upon building it would be the first general purpose computing computer. It was programmable with punched cards, an idea borrowed from the Jacquard loom used to weave various and intricate patterns in textiles, an experimental part created but again not quite complete, and he designed a printer for his new engine. The government decided to stop funding the Babbage projects in 1842. Between 1846 and 1849, Babbage designed a new, improved engine to distinguish it from the first called the Difference Engine No. 2. His machines were considered one of the first mechanical computers ever invented, in fact none of them was completed due to a lack of funding and not due to a design flaw. While the machines he designed were mechanical and massive, its basic concept resembles a modern computer, which is why he is often seen as one of the pioneers of computers. Babbage published his book The Economics of Machinery and Manufactures in 1832 about industrial production which was well accepted. In the book he described what is known as Babbage's principle which indicated the advantages of the division of labor in factories. He wrote a natural theological book entitled On the Power, Wisdom, and goodness of God, as he appeared in creation in 1837. In 1838, he invented the so-called cow hunter, a metal frame attached to the face of a locomotive that removes the effects of obstacles. Babbage also invented the ophthalmoscope, which is used in eye exams. 4. Charles Babbage's Most Famous Sayings With each increase in knowledge, and the invention of every new tool, human labor becomes reduced. The errors that result from using insufficient data are much less than the errors caused by never using data. As the work is light by itself, it becomes necessary, in order to save time and increase speed. 5. The Personal Life of Charles Babbage In 1814, Babbage married Georgia Whitmore. They had eight children, but only three lived after childhood. His wife passed away in 1827, and in terms of Charles Babbage's religion, beliefs and indigenous sect, he was born into a Protestant Christian family. 6. The Death of Charles Babbage Charles Babbage died on October 18, 1871, at the age of 79, and was buried in the Green King's Ale Cemetery in London. The cause of death was kidney failure. 7. Fast Facts on Charles Babbage being denied a diploma with first-class honors on his thesis team blasphemous, Babbage began correcting his reputation through work. He worked briefly on preparing actuarial tables for insurance companies, but he was not practicing there. Half of his brain is on display at the Science Museum in London, and the other half can be seen at the Royal College of Surgeons. 8. You will find the latest news about Charles Babbage, videos and documentaries about Charles Babbage and the information sources I mentioned to you in this video in the description. In the end, we hope that you liked the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel until everything new arrives and bye bye.